Yo, what's up everyone? In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Warzone crashing, freezing, not launching and any other errors you might be encountering when trying to play the game on your Windows computer. So the first thing that you need to do, if you're able to, is launch the game. So as you can see, I've got the game open at the moment on my computer. Now once you've got the game open, go ahead and click on that settings cog in the top right hand corner and you now need to go ahead and click on quick settings. So we now need to go to the left hand side here and you're looking for the graphics option. So within the graphics we want to just go through a few different things. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is just ensure that your display resolution is at the correct resolution. So mine's at 1920 by 1080 so that's all good, that's fine. Now once you've done that and changed resolution if you've got full screen exclusive selected, if you haven't then select that option. If that doesn't resolve the crashing issues you're having, so launch into game and see if that fixed it. If it didn't then select this option and just go ahead and select full screen borderless. Now you're not going to be able to change the resolution with full screen borderless but this can help fix those crashing problems. Now once you've done that, the next thing that you need to do is go across to quality, just click on apply and then confirm. There we go, I thought it was going to close the game then, which wouldn't have been good during obviously this video. So the next thing that you need to do is change your graphics preset. So go ahead and select minimum. Now click on apply and launch into game and see if you have any crashing problems. If you don't then slowly increase the graphics to basic, balance ultra and if your computer can handle it extreme. Another key point here is to keep an eye on the bottom right hand corner here where it says estimated VRAM usage. So I will actually do a video going into a lot more depth on how you can increase your FPS and get better performance within Warzone. So definitely subscribe if you want to check out that video which I will release either later on today or tomorrow. So anyway, that's it for the game settings. The next thing that we need to do, if none of this has helped fix the game for you, is go onto Windows. Alrighty, so once you're on your Windows desktop, the first thing that we're going to want to do is just ensure that everything is up to date. Also, I want to just add now, while I've got chance, I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that I have done which I will add more methods to on things that you can do to fix walls and crash it. So if you don't want to carry on watching this video or whatever, then check out the link in the description below or if you missed the method, it's definitely worth checking out that guide. Anyway, so we need to right click on the start menu icon and go to settings. You now need to click on update and security and then click on the check for updates button. Once Windows has finished updating, restart your computer. The next thing that you need to do is update your graphics card. So if you don't know what graphics card you have, you can right click on the start menu icon and go to device manager. The next thing that you need to do is expand display adapter and then head on over to the website for your graphics card. So you can see that I've got an AMD RX 6750 XT. So I'd need to go to AMD's website and download the latest driver for my graphics card. I will pop a link in the description below to a video that I have just done on how to update your graphics card. Um, in the example though, I am updating my AMD. Now once you've done that, the next thing that you're going to want to do is just launch the game. Believe it or not, updating Windows, restarting your computer and also updating your graphics card driver can resolve many problems when it comes to Warzone not working correctly. So it's definitely worth giving the game a go now and seeing if it helped. Now if it didn't, the next thing that you want to do is ensure you don't have anything running on your computer when you're trying to play the game. So as you can see, I've got nothing open, but if you've got a web browser open, a music player, Discord, anything like that, close it all down. Maybe you've got a monitoring program like MSI Afterburner or something, just shut it down. That also includes security software. If you've got a third party security program, it could also be causing issues. So for example, in the bottom right hand corner here, you can see I've got malware bytes. All I need to do is right click on it and go quit malware bytes. This can also conflict with the game, causing it to crash and throw us all sorts of problems. So yeah, just close down your security software, but only do this if you're obviously happy to do it because you might not be protected from security threats while your security software is disabled. 
Normally, a lot of them do have a game mode or a passive mode, so it might be worth giving that a go first if you have the option. So once you tried all that, and if none of that helped, the next thing that you could do is download a program that I created called Easy Game Utility. So I'm just going to open this up. This is what it looks like. So we want to do a few things within this program very quickly. The first thing that you're going to want to do is clear the cache for the launcher that you're trying to launch Warzone on. So if you're using Battle.net, just click on Clean and OK. If you're using Steam, click on Clean. Next thing that you need to do is go to Graphics and then click on Clean next to your graphics card to clear the cache files. And then do the same for DirectX. So once you've done that, the next thing that you need to do is head on over to the Fix tab. So at the bottom here, you can see that I've got a Warzone Attempt Fix option. So you're going to want to just simply click on this button here. As you can see, I am out of three attempts. So, but what you do, because you would have some attempts, is click on that button and with a bit of luck like magic, I've added in a load of um, fixing methods and stuff within that button. It will hopefully resolve the problem that you're having with Warzone and launch the game. If it doesn't for some reason manage to launch the game, it would have still done a few different fixes and stuff. So go ahead and launch your game anyway. If that didn't work, the next thing that you can do is click on custom game fixing, click on browse. You then need to go to the location where you installed Call of Duty Warzone. So if I go to common in Steam and then find Call of Duty so you can see it's there. All I need to do is select the cod.exe and go open. The next thing that I need to do is select the launcher, so I use Steam, and then click on Attempt Fix. Again, I've not got the um, attempts, but anyway, that will run through a few different things and then attempt to fix the game. So that's the easiest way to hopefully fix walls not working on your computer. And also, thank you very much if you do help support the program by um, purchasing the Pro version. Now, the next thing that you need to do if easy gamer utility didn't help is open up your documents folder once you're in here you're now looking for the call of duty folder so you can see it's at the top here right click on it and go rename and just add bk to the end of the folder once you've done that go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped resolve the issue you're having now if that didn't fix the problem the next thing that we want to do is open up steam or battle.net depending on where you purchase the game so first I'll show you how to do this within Steam. So as you can see, I've now got Steam open. All you need to do is find Call of Duty within your game library, right click on it and go to properties. You now need to go to installed files and you need to click on this button here that says verify integrity of game files. Now this is going to check to see if any of the files are corrupted or missing. If it does detect any issues, then Steam will attempt to replace those files. Once it's finished, again, launch the game and see if it helped. I'll show you how to do this in battle.net now. Alrighty, so once you're on the battle.net app, you need to select Call of Duty Warzone. So as you can see, I've got Vanguard selected as the example. You then need to click on the settings cog and you will then see the option that says scan and repair. Select this option and then go begin scan. It will now attempt to repair any corrupted files or missing files. So once that's finished, go ahead and launch the game. Now that does bring me to the end of this video, but like I said in the video, I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that I've done, which I will add more methods to if I can think of any, that will fix Warzone crashing problems. So if you did like the video, click the like button below, and if you want to see more videos from me, then click the subscribe button.